I've got quite the Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. I'm just gonna pull things out of bags. I went, hold on, I'm gonna sit down. I went with Valentine's Day in mind, but I also got a few other goodies for the house, the kids, all the things. So let's get started. I actually have three of these, but I wanted to share with you guys in case you are a water bottle fan. These Core Waters found these at the Dollar Tree, so $1.25. I'm not quite sure how they price compare at other stores, but I know Rose is obsessed with these water bottles. I don't know why, if they're like trending somewhere, but she's liked these Core ones for quite a while. So I picked up three of them because my kids are actually staying with my parents this weekend. I don't know when you guys are seeing this. I feel like I say that in every video, but this weekend when I'm filming this, my kids are staying with my parents. So I got them some water bottles to take with them. All right, this I've had for a long time and I broke it. I, I guess it was, I had too much in here and I pulled it out of the fridge and this part just snapped right off. So, oh, hi. Hi, Buford. <laughs> Are you curious as to what I'm doing? I left the office door open today, so the animals are gonna be coming and going probably. But anyway, I love these bowls. I use them for a variety of things. I think the size is great. Um, what I mainly use, I have two of them. So I still have my gray one, but I broke the white one, so I just bought another white one. But what I mainly use this white one for is whenever I get an every plate delivery, I don't get it every single week, but we do utilize every plate, we enjoy them. I use these bowls to keep the meat in and then I just put the whole thing in the fridge and that way I know where my meat is for those meals when I pull them out and I want to make them for dinner. So that's what I use these bowls so I knew I needed to pick up another one. Okay, like I said, this is probably going to be random. I thought about putting like things together but I'm not. I'm on a time crunch for filming today. Um, but. Going into the Dollar Tree, like I mentioned, I had Valentine's Day on the mind. I am subscribed to a lot of people who share Dollar Tree hauls, and I've been seeing all the Valentine's Day stuff in like the beauty section, and I knew I wanted a few of those things for my girls for Valentine's Day. So for Rose and Pearl, I got them each one of these going into their little Valentine's Day bag. Um, they are heart cosmetic puffs. So it just says, use this heart shape cosmetic puff to evenly apply powder makeup. So I went ahead and got, like I said, each of them one. There were actually a few things that I was on the hunt for that I did not find at the Dollar Tree. Okay, I also know I picked up two of these and now that I think about it, I should have got a third one for Bryce but I think this is too small for him. I, I was thinking like makeup when I got these for the girls. So I got two of these, um, same exact color. I think the other one has a different emblem on it. So this one has like the recycle and the other one, well, I'll show it to you guys when I find it, but the other one has a different symbol on it, maybe like for trash, but I got these. These are perfect like desktop trash cans, but I got these for the girls with their makeup supplies. So like, when they're using a makeup wipe at the end of the night or during the day, if they're like reapplying makeup and they wanna clean off what they have on or like a sheet mask or something like that, all their little itty bitty makeup trash, I thought it'd be cute for them to have a little trash can on. Rose has vanity in her room, so this will go on her vanity, but for Pearl, she doesn't have a vanity, but she has plenty of counter space in by her sink, so I thought that she could set hers there. Okay, moving right along, I saw these and I went ahead again. I just picked up two, one of each for the girls for Valentine's Day. This is the matte finish setting spray formulated with shea butter and argan oil. So I got two of those. Oliver's in here now, <laughs> sniffing everything. Okay, this is actually for the girls for right now. I thought about picking myself up one, but I have, what's the brand, babe something? Um, I have this like overnight lip mask that I've been using, but man, with the allergies and the weather starting to drop here in Texas, my lips are getting super dry and so are theirs. So I saw this and I thought this is something that they could utilize right now. So again, I picked up two of them and this is the Be Pure is the brand hydrating night lip mask with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and shea butter. It says a two-in-one lip mask and balm. So maybe they can use this as just a balm and not just overnight. But again, with our with us having dry lips, I knew I needed to pick that up for us. Okay, I know I got three of these, but you guys just need to see the one. 
So with the girls going to my parents this weekend, actually one of their friends is going with them and I thought it would be cute for them to do a face mask while they were there. So I saw this one and I thought it was super cute. So this is just gummy bear scented. It would be super cute if they were like little gummy bears all over the mask, but I believe it's just a mask. And if you can hear that, one of the cats stitch to be precise is going through the Dollar Tree bags right here. He wants to check out what I've got going on. Oh, you, can you guys see him down there in the bottom? Yeah, he's going through the bag. So if you hear that, hopefully it's not too distracting. But anyway, there's not gummy bears on this sheet mask, but it is gummy bear scented. So I picked up three of them, one for each of the kids or the girls, and it just says dry face, what is this one? 10 to 15 minutes. So pick that up for them. This is another item I saw and I knew I wanted to grab for the girls for their Valentine's Day bag. And this is Diamond Cosmetics and these are cosmetic sponges and they are in a heart, but it's actually four in there. So the heart is cut in half. So there's two pink and two red sponges in there or beauty blenders, something not Valentine's Day related, but we are about to have a cold front and like the smallest possibility of snow I doubt we're gonna have snow, but it could happen. We've had snow before. It just doesn't happen all the time. Hello, hi. I've been gone for a good two hours from the house. So all the pets are like, wait, why did you leave me? So they're all over me right now. But like I said, time crunch. So I'm trying to do this quickly. Um, I went ahead and picked up two more gloves. We do have a few sets of gloves, but if it does snow and the kids go out in it, these, their gloves are gonna get soaked really, really quickly. They're gonna come in, they're gonna be cold. And I wanted to make sure I had at least two pairs for everybody in case they wanna go back later in the afternoon. I don't have time to wash and dry them or like the next day, you know, that kind of thing. I just wanted to be prepared so they could really, if it does snow, they can be in it and love it while we have it because it's so rare. So I did pick up two more pairs of gloves. These are super, super thin ones. It's also just supposed to be cold. So just for them to wear outside. If they're outside playing, um, these are fairly thin. But again, I just picked up two of them. These are women's, but Bryce can wear these also. Like the men can wear these as well. But it says junk, juncture texting gloves. Oh, because it has the touch screen thumb and pointer finger that you can use. So anyway, went ahead and got two pairs because I know I have like a lot of girly colors, I guess you could say. So I wanted to make sure I had a few that Bryce would be comfortable wearing as well. Another item I was glad to find because when I saw somebody haul them, I was like, oh my gosh, I need them, are the Caboodles. So they have these in three colors. They have a pink as well, but Rose's favorite color is purple and Pearl likes the like teal green color. Sometimes she likes blue, which is in that color scheme. So I picked one up for each of them. I and not sure yet if I'm. this is going to be part of the Valentine's Day. It just depends on how much I feel like I have because we don't like to go like a whole lot on Valentine's Day. It's just small little gift bags, but I might put all their beauty stuff in here. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you guys don't care what I'm using it for. You just wanna see the product, right? So I got the Caboodles. Um, the only thing is I wish there was some kind of organization in here in here i know it's kind of small but you know like the bigger ones they open and then it has the like little tray so it would be cute if there was some kind of tray in here but it's, there's not it's just one open container but um i really really thought they were super cute but and i don't i can't tell if oh my gosh no now stitches in my lap i can't tell if you guys can see that it's sparkly but there is glitter in on the tops of these so anyway i thought those would be super cute for the girls to put their beauty supplies in that I'm getting them for Valentine's Day. Stitch is now in my lap. I think, I don't, maybe he can tell that I got a toy for him. Let me go ahead and show you guys one of these toys so I can give it to him. I'm just afraid the dogs are also gonna try to get it. But Stitch is the cat that is, I like to joke and say he's like a third human, a third dog, or he wishes, you know, like he was human and dog and stuff like that because He's just, he's crazy. He's not entirely all cat. So anyway, he is very active at night and stitches Rose's cat and the cats get put up at, at night. They they stay in their rooms for their, their humans. It's like, like Stitch stays with Rose, Milo stays with, with Pearl and Riley stays with Bryce. But Stitch is so active at night that he keeps Rose up and she's like, I need some more toys for him. Buford, you can't lay there, buddy. 
I put the st I'm stacking everything there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a hot mess in this video. I apologize. Uh, but anyway, Rose was like, Stitch needs some toys. He keeps stealing their bath mats and just pulling them places. And there are towels. Like, he needs some stuff, some like bigger toys. I have some smaller cat toys, but he's just not playing with them. So at the Dollar Tree, and I'll probably get him more like online or something or look at Target or like go to a pet store. Um, but I got the two options <laughs> that the Dollar Tree had. This was one of them and I felt like that was big enough. He also loves stuffed animals. Um, he likes to pull their stuffed animals all over the room. So I got this one. It's just a little fish and it has a, a bell in it. O'Reilly's in here now, Bryce's cat, and she she likes the bell. So anyway, I got this for him. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. And hopefully, I'm a little worried about the dogs trying to take the cat toys, but I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Here you go. There's your cat toy. No, now he's, find, he's found a spot to lay down on top of a bag. So he's not going to try to get it. You guys are making this real difficult to, you guys are making it hard for me to film a Dollar Tree haul right now. I got three of these. I almost got five, one for Mark and one for me. And I, I know I could, like I can fit it into my macros and everything like that where Mark and I are doing a program, an eight week program. Um, and it's eight weeks obviously past Valentine's day. So we're not going to be indulging in all the sweets, but if we really wanted to, I could you know, put this into our meal plan and make it work. Just one of these. But I was, you know, like, I was like, you know what? Nope. We're just, I'm just going to get three, one for each of the kids. But we love these. These are the chocolate covered marshmallows. And when I saw that there was a Valentine's day one with the heart, like we love the ones that come out at Christmas time. There are ones that came out at Halloween. These are so delicious. <laughs> so I got one for each of the kids and they're just going to go in their little Valentine's day bag for Pearl. She got a mushroom growing kit from Paige, their oldest, their oldest sister uh, for Christmas. And she was like, oh, I need a pot. I need a pot to put it in. And I wasn't quite sure what, what are you doing to my carpet? I mean, I know we're going to replace the carpet, but chill, chill cat. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what size she needed. This one looked a little too small but then this one looks big. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna get both of them and we'll see what works. Pearl loves plants also. So I'm sure she can use these for other things. But again, I went with her favorite color, blue and green, that like scheme. So I got this green one, this pot. So this is just one for your dollar 25. But then this is a six pack. Yeah, this is a six pack. And these are the like starter pots. So they have holes on the bottom. So she could put her mushroom kit in this and then in here just so it looks better if she wanted to but anyway I got two different options for her and hopefully one of those works so she can get that set up all right hold up in this bag there's the other water bottle and the other chocolate marshmallows oh that's not for you you can't have chocolate okay I did go ahead and pick out that way I'm limited their Valentine's Day bags and oh my god oh lordy don't touch your face, Vanessa. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sparkly today. Um, they all were like covered in glitter. And normally I don't mind that, but this was the only bag that had minimal. The other bags were like, it was all glitter. So like you touch that and you're, it's everywhere. This one is not too bad. Uh, at least I didn't think so, but now it's, I'm sitting too far away. I'm zoomed in a little bit, but I'm further away from the camera. So I can't tell if you can, if you can tell, but there is glitter all over it. And it just says, happy Valentine's Day. I got the same exact one for all three of them. And then I might leave like them set, set out on the counter. And then one thing that is specifically for each child. So they know like whose bag is who, you know, like leave something out that they know, oh, that's for me. Like, you know, it would be something stitch related for Rose probably. And uh, something anime for Bryce, you know, that kind of thing. That way they know whose bag is whose. But I thought that was a great size to limit myself to for Valentine's Day. All right. And then the last thing in that bag is Rose got a stitch dressed up like Harry Potter artwork, a piece of artwork for Christmas, but we did not have a frame for it. So I needed a frame. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure this is the right size. I had nine by 10 written down, but there's a little bit of a buffer around the picture. So I hope this eight by 10 is okay. So anyway, I got her this frame so we can get 
that Christmas present dealt with. So those two things that I can cross off my list. All right, next bag. Speaking of Stitch, I feel like I got another treat. I might have gotten another one, but we'll get to it. Uh, he, like I mentioned, likes to think he's a dog. And our dogs, we've got to get a treat is what we, what we call it. Once a day, they're like bully sticks or like a chew bone that's good for their teeth. And Stitch now knows whenever they get that treat during the day. So he's been coming into the kitchen asking for something. So I like to keep a little pack of treats next to the dog's treats and that way he feels included, you know? He doesn't feel left out. So I give him a little bit and then the dogs get their treat. So I'm running low on those. So I went ahead and picked this up. I only, I like the Temptations. All the cats like these. So when I saw this one, the catnip fever, I was like, oh, he's gonna like that. So I got this little bag for him. Back to Valentine's Day. This is something that I get the kids every single year. It's some kind of chocolate, box chocolates. So I picked these three up from the Dollar Tree. Um, they are, the kids love the flavor. Rose actually told me recently that the orange cream, yeah, the orange cream is her favorite. So I had to make sure that they had those in there. But I got this one for Rose, has the little kitties on it. And then I got this one for Bryce. I think this is the same exact one that I got him last year. I just try to get one that has some kind of video game on it because that's what he is very much into. And then I liked the, the panda. I thought it was super cute, so I picked this one up for Pearl. But they have several more to pick from. They have a mermaid, they have a princess, they have an astronaut, or is it, was it a spaceship? Maybe both, I don't know. They had several to pick from. Okay, this was new and I thought it was super cute, so I picked this up. I'm just gonna have this out for them. Like, they can snack out. I might not even save it for, Valent for Valentine's Day. I might just have it as like an extra treat for them but I thought it was really cute. It is a pack of six marshmallow hearts and they are like covered in like the crystallized sugar and they look, they almost look like cookies, but they're marshmallows. So I thought those are really cute. I don't know if they'd want to put these on like hot chocolate or something. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll set it over there. We still have a ton of hot chocolate stuff on Christmas. They just really haven't been into it this year, but I know they'll have a couple cups when it gets really cold. Okay, another sweet item. I picked this up just for, I was gonna say a bad word, <laughs> but I know a lot of y'all watch this around little kids um, for blank and giggles, you know, or grins. I don't remember the saying, but Rose has a obsession with sprinkles. So pancakes, waffles, if she does make hot chocolate, if she makes like a decaf coffee and she's putting anything with whipped cream, she has to have sprinkles on it. So I thought, I saw these Peppa Pig sprinkles and I thought they were just the cutest thing. So I did pick this up. I'm just gonna put it in the pantry and the kids can use it on whatever, but it has three different packs in here. It's got the little crystal sugar and then it has like Peppa little figure in her house and then the little itty bitty like non perils I think they're called with some hearts, but three different types of sprinkles in there. So I just thought that was super cute and her obsession with sprinkles. She's gonna love that. All right, another item that I saw that I knew I wanted to add to the girls Valentine's Day bags. And I don't get stuff for Bryce anymore. He's outgrown the Dollar Tree. There's, it's rare that I find anything for him at the Dollar Tree. So he, his stuff costs a little bit more. So the girls get like all the beauty stuff and he gets like either anime related or a gift card or something like that. You know, his stuff is a little more expensive. Just putting that out there so you guys aren't like, you didn't get anything for Bryce. Well, because there's nothing at the Dollar Tree for Bryce. So you guys only see my hauls. I don't do like Amazon or regular shopping hauls when I'm, you know, getting stuff. So anyway, back to it. I just figured somebody would probably comment that. But these are bath bombs and it is a two pack. So it's the X and the O. They had the lips also, which I saw somebody haul, and like the little champagne bottles. And there was another one in a package like this, but I cannot remember what it was. But I, I think they'd like this better. Having two, like two for one, and then the X and the O, I just thought that was really cute. So I got those. Pearl, again. Um, I picked up the Cella, Cella something, C, is it C-E-L-L-O or, I don't remember that brand of chocolate covered cherries over Christmas time because I got a big pack for a friend 
for Christmas and she was like, oh my gosh, I want some of those. And I didn't really buy a whole bunch of like sweets over Christmas because I did a lot of baking. So I got her those and she decided that that is not the brand that she likes. So I was like, okay, well the other brand is Queen Anne. So when I saw these at the Dollar Tree, I was like, I'm gonna pick this up so she can try it and that way she knows which brand she prefers. I think she likes, yeah, this one has the, like the vanilla, that stuff in it. So it's not just the Cello or Cella. I don't remember the brand. I just know it starts with a C. Whatever that brand is, it's just the chocolate, it's the cherry, and then it's liquid. This one has some kind of like vanilla flavoring in it. So like an icing type thing. So anyway, I think she likes these ones better. So I went ahead and picked these ones up so she could try them. And that way she knows which brand she likes going forward. I also saw these and my kids just like to snack on these. You could heat these up and make them into s'mores. That might actually be a good idea. I should pick up some. Oh, I think I have graham crackers. I'm going to check. We're about to have a cold front. I've mentioned that. It's going to be real cold. So s'mores would be something fun to do on our fireplace. We have a gas fireplace in our house. So that would be something fun to do. If they are going outside, they come in, they're freezing, we could do s'mores. So I did pick these up. They also just like to snack on these, but these are these stuffed puffs. This one is just your classic chocolate. So it's the marshmallow on the outside and it is stuffed, hence stuffed puffs. The inside has the chocolate. Then I saw this one and Pearl definitely likes your salted, oh, that's upside down, salted caramel. I don't think, I've never purchased these ones before, so they haven't tried it, but this one is salted caramel on the inside. So it's the marshmallow and then it's stuffed with the chocolate. But, ooh, air fry it? It says air fry it, roast it, toast it, microwave it, snack on it, cocoa it, bake it. Interesting. So anyway, I got those cereal. It's been a hot minute since I've seen like a regular box of cereal at my Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and picked this one up. My kids all like Captain Crunch. This one is Halloween, but it doesn't matter. Cereal is cereal. And for $1.25, that beats your four, closer to $5 a box at our typical stores here. So I went ahead and picked this up. I did check the date just to make sure. And it says April. So this will definitely be gone by April. We still got a couple months. So I picked that up just as a cereal option. Oh, here's the one that I got. The other one so i got two so this one has like a trash can on it and then the other one had the recycle triangle so the girls just need some kind of little trash receptacle in their room they don't have trash cans anymore because they were abusing it like leaving stuff in there and food in there and stuff like that which is a no-no so i figured something that small for just beauty products would work all right here i knew i got two different kinds of treats also this one is meow mix i haven't picked this brand up in a while normally i go for the temptation but i just thought these little bags are perfect like i said to keep as a treat option for a stitch since he likes to be involved i picked these up I'm not quite sure if Pearl will like these or not, and I'm just gonna give them to her. Um, one thing I am, I, I have planned on doing is since Christmas, I haven't gotten into the rooms just yet, but with you know everything that they got for Christmas, I like to set up their room one time for them, and then they're responsible for the upkeep. Like they clean their rooms, that kind of thing, but every few months I'll go in there and you know do the, the mom's touch clean, getting a little cleaner, all the nooks and crannies, that kind of thing. So I like to do that sometime after Christmas and get their rooms all set up for the year, all their new stuff out, let them declutter a little bit. So I'm gonna be getting in there and doing that. And I saw these little mushrooms and I thought I couldn't remember what kind of handles Pearl has on her furniture or if she has, if her bed has a part where I can put these on, but she really into mushrooms right now, like super into mushrooms. So I saw these and I was like, I'm gonna pick them up. If I use them, I use them. If she wants to like use them, she doesn't do crafty stuff outside of making bracelets. So it's not like she could, she doesn't do crafty stuff where she uses this kind of stuff. But if we don't end up using them, I'll just donate them. Um, but I saw them and I was like, I have to pick them up. They, these were the three colors they came in. They're called mini foam mushrooms. They're 16 in each. So we've got the pink, the purple, and like the blue, green, or teal color there. So anyway, I picked those up for her. And when I get into her room and organize it and do all the things, we'll see if we want to use those. And if not, like I said, I'll just donate them. But I saw them and I was like, I'm going to pick those up for Pearl. I'm taking too long. My camera just turned itself off. All right, I'm going to sit up on my legs for a little bit, even though, y'all, it was leg day today. And then I decided to do shopping today, so more walking and using my legs, and they are they are burning something fierce. All right, 
I picked these up. These are the Junior Dippers. Here's the front. There's five, yes, five in here, and all it is is pretzels and the cheese dip, and the girls really like to snack on these. I'm pretty sure Bryce does too, but he's, he's less vocal about a lot of things. The girls are very vocal about what they like and all of that. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I saw this. They have so many new, like, gardening things out and I thought this would be cute for I don't know if she'll be able to use it for her mushroom kit or not or if she needs like an actual you know little pitcher to water her plants and stuff but this is a little mister and I just with the color and the gold I thought it would be super cute sitting out in her room so I did get this for Pearl also just to like I said when I when I get into their rooms and redo them and set things out I thought that would be cute to add to her little plant section oh my foot my foot's asleep and it's starting starting to tingle. Okay, Rose really likes pudding and jello. So I picked up two different options for her. The what is this? Kool-Aid gels is a four-pack, and this is the strawberry kiwi. So I got that for her. And then this one is snack pack, juicy gels in the strawberry. Again, there's four in there oh here's something for bryce <laughs> okay bryce loves these cookie dough bites whenever we go to the movie this is what he picks or like out to the movie theater this is what he picks and so with him going to my parents i thought right across the street his best friend lives right across the street from my parents and he's probably going to be either he's going to go over to his house or his friend is going to come over to my parents house so i thought i would pick them each up a little box of these oh is that upside down oh no this one was upside down okay so you saw what they are but they are cookie dough bites chocolate chip cookie dough bites so like i said i just went ahead and picked up those for him and his friend and then speaking of bryce i know i have the one in another bag here so we'll find it but bryce's birthday is next friday or january 19th so I went ahead and picked him up the one and the three. <laughs> so he's got the 13 for his cake or cupcake or whatever we end up doing. But anyway, he's turning 13. So he will officially be a teenager, which is nuts. My birthday is the 17th. So we're only two days apart. Well, a lot of years, you know, but our birthdays are only two days apart. So it's going to be a fun week celebrating and um, Monday is a holiday. So Mark has off work. So we're excited. So I got him the candles. All right, and then I saw these. These are new. Hopefully they aren't like super, they feel very cheap. You know, sometimes you do get what you pay for and sometimes the Dollar Tree is an amazing bang for your buck. But, oh, the trash is coming by. So hopefully Oliver does not, it's trash day. So we've got our guys coming by. Oh, and he did not bark, so yay. Um, anyway, these feel a little flimsy, but I think they're gonna be super cute in the girls' rooms. So I got the purple for Rose and this blue for Pearl. They are very, or it's, it looks blue on camera, but it's teal. Does that look blue on camera? It's more green in real life. Um, but these are velvet bulletin boards. They had it in a circle option as well, but I feel like the room that the kids have left on their walls, all the kids are into posters and hanging crap on their walls. So there's stuff everywhere. I thought I would be able to utilize these more and it's three different strips. So you can either put them all together or have them separated. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm gonna do it, but this is also something that I'm just gonna add to their rooms so I can utilize wall space, hang a few things up, um, and you just stick them to the wall. Came with little stickers. It also came with three pearl thumbtacks. I did buy some more though. So we, we had more than three to use, but these are super cute. These are the only two color options that I saw. But like I said, if you weren't into the strips, they also had them as like a little circle. Here's the other two face masks that I got for the girls to do with their friend at my parents' house. Okay, and then here's the, I say thumbtacks, push pins. Um, here's the other pack of pearl just so they had more so like I said those little kits or the bulletin boards come with three um, But I knew they might want more than that. So this is a 15 pack, but it's the same exact push pin It's the pearl push pins, which I thought were really really pretty. Here's the one the candle So you not only get the candle you also get this little it says cake decor It's like a little plastic piece that you it has two little pins in it so you just like sit it down on top of something i'm not going to use these i just toss these i just want the candle so i've got the one and the three for bryce okay i know i got several packs of these the amount doesn't really matter for y'all 
But the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, I only saw one lone one of these beads. And when I showed Pearl, she like loved, she fell in love with the color. She just loved the color combo. And she was like, mom, next time you go to the Dollar Tree, if you see them, pick up a few more. Cause like I already mentioned, she loves to make bracelets and she really liked these color combos. So I found several of them. I think I picked up four, maybe five, who knows? I know I got two, three. I don't, I don't know if there's any more, but I'm pretty sure I at least got four. But she just, like I said, really loved this color combo. So I picked several of these up for her. Here's the other cat toy. I knew I got another one, although he's not in here anymore. Did he take his fish? Oh no, his fish is right here. <laughs> so I got this one also as an option for Stitch to play with at night and hopefully he is not a huge bother to Rose. Otherwise we're gonna have to figure something out, like not have him in her room at night, have him out and about and hopefully he doesn't, you know, <sighs> keep Mark and I awake or anything like that. But they had this toy in like four or five different colors. I picked blue, that's my favorite color. So it's like this little bird with this long little tail and then it has the little, the little bell in it. I have several different gift bags in here and I just went like super simple, stayed with the solid colors. So I figured I would share those with you guys. I think this is it that I got um, as far as gift bags. But for Bryce's birthday, turning 13, he has decided not to have a party. He just wants to go to Top Golf with the family. So we're gonna do that. You know, he's got a few wish list items um, kind of left over from Christmas. He had a massive Christmas wish list, so he didn't get everything that he asked for. So we're gonna utilize some of that for his birthday, but I wanted to do something fun since it is 13. Uh, we're gonna do 13 gifts for his 13th birthday. I've actually recently seen this going around also. I'm not filming it or anything like that. Bryce is mainly the one kid that is the least camera friendly. Like he just does not wanna be in front of the camera. I never, I never force it on any of them. So I'm not filming it just before you guys ask. Maybe I'll get a picture of him with the gifts for Instagram or something like that. But with him turning 13, 13 gifts for his 13th birthday. So I got a couple different bag options because I don't have all of his gifts right now. I actually have like one week left, so I need to get on it. Um, so uh, I've got a few different options here and I went with like plain and simple. That way if I don't end up using these or if they're not gonna work out for what I get him or what you know Mark and I get him, then they're solid colors and I can utilize them throughout the year for you know the kids' friends' birthdays and stuff like that. So these are singular for $1.25. So this size, I got two red, which is one of his favorite colors. Then these ones are, actually I'll keep them so I can show you the size difference. These ones are a different size, but you get three of them for $1.25. So I just went with the solid black, another one of Bryce's colors. And then, are these the same size? No, these are not the same size, but you still get, they're a little smaller, but you still get three of them for $1.25, so blue, another one of his colors. His colors are black, red, blue, and purple. Rose told me that. I think white too, if like if I got white, that would be fine, but anyway. So I got that, and then this one, how does this size compare? Yeah, see that's crazy. I guess because of the type of the bag, these are like paper bags that were just like painted the color. This one is a different material. It's like shiny, but you only get two for the $1.25, but you can kind of see the size comparison. So you only get two. I'll show you against the red. This is a single again for $1.25. So those are the bag options that I got. And like I said, if we don't utilize these, um, cause I know a couple things are big that we're getting for him. Those are going to be wrapped, but I already have wrapping paper. I need, I didn't need to buy that, but we've got the bags for the other items in case we need them. All right, the last time I went to the Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure it was the last time, I stocked up on canvases for the girls. They do like to paint. I actually haven't painted in a few weeks. Um, but this time I saw these and normally I just, I put a table cover down and then they have trays that they color on or that they paint on. But I saw these, this one's a little loose. I might need to tighten. There we go, tighten this one up. But I saw these easels and I was like, you know what? That might make it easier for them to paint instead of having the, canvas down on the table and they're doing this, they can set it up. So I got two easels for Rose and Pearl when they are painting. I'm just gonna add it to our little paint stash over here. Oh, so I know at least two of Bryce's gifts are getting wrapped and not bagged. So I went ahead and got, ooh, this one got 
This one got smooshed. I went ahead and got two just clear bows. I thought they were very cool looking, just one for the $1.25, but I got two of them. Um, they had a couple different options of these also. The color um, that they have around here, so this one's silver, like the little ribbon of color or band of color right there. They had different color options. I just went with the like transparent one, the one that looked the most see-through. So I got that. We are almost done. Oh, so I think I got four. Is that four? Pretty sure I got four. All right, last but not least, this is another item that I saw that I just went ahead and picked up because like I said, Pearl, basically her Christmas list was mushroom everything. She wanted mushroom clothing, room decor, all the things. So <laughs> cats are playing. Um, so when I saw this, I thought we won't use all of these. There's 10 that come in here. I thought maybe she has all white furniture so we could tape them to some of like the bigger areas on her furniture or I could put one or two on like her bulletin board or around her room in the bathroom or not her room, the mirror in her bathroom, that kind of thing. That might be cute actually because she has a really big mirror. So this might be cute. I might be able to utilize all of them that way so they're not wasted. But anyway, I saw them and I was like, they're so cute. They are a little sparkly, but it's just a little too mushroom. And this is from like the teacher area, teaching tree, large glitter, classroom decor. And like I said, 10 pieces, but oh my gosh, that's it. That is it. Now I have to put everything up. I have to try to get this video edited, pick up Pearl from school, pick up a friend and get the kids combined and put them in the car and take them to my parents' house today. So, and I'm hoping to get this video out today. It's Friday, FYI. Um, but if not, I'll just push this video and it'll come out Saturday. <laughs> so whenever you guys are seeing this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you like Dollar Tree hauls, give this one a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Bye.